Colton, some forecasts call for so much runoff running into Folsom Lake. If you didn't let it out, it would be overflowing in less than a week and a half. Of course, there will be releases with much of that water ending up here in local rivers. As this March rainmaker moves into Northern California, much of the runoff is heading into Folsom Lake. We have to be cautious whenever we're operating the dam and make sure that we've got enough space in there in case we see a string of storms come through like it looks like we're forecast to get over the next week. The lake currently holds 610,000 acre feet of water with a max capacity of 977,000. Shane Hunt is with the Bureau of Reclamation, which manages Folsom Dam. He says much more water is expected. The inflow projections for the next 10 days vary between about 180,000 and over 500,000. If the forecast plays out as the scenarios are showing right now, will be significant increases. Preparations are already underway for major releases. Where's the, where's the lighter? One group much less prepared, Troop 444, Boy Scouts camping next to Folsom Lake. We didn't get out the last couple months because it was raining, and I just said, hey, we're going rain or shine. Sometimes the simplest food is the best. There's no shine here, but even in the rain, it's hard to complain when there's a campfire and hot dogs involved. We're making it fun in trying to stay dry. I've seen this lake beautifully, beautifully, beautifully rise. Back at the lake, Chuck Wallace is watching both the storm and lake levels. Need to let some out, not too much. Of course, that's the balancing act to have. A balancing act with rising stakes as officials look to capture as much water as possible without putting anyone or anything at risk. Now, I'm told that by the beginning of next week, it's very likely that the floodgates at Folsom Dam will be open. If that's the case, it'll be the first time in more than five years, and there will be a whole lot of water here downstream. Live in Sacramento, I'm Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, that will be quite a sight. Can't wait to show people what that looks like. Tom, thanks.